Welcome to the Glen, Watkins Glen, for race number 22, our second road course race of the season. They're already about to give the race's command. Here it is. If you love NASCAR as much as I do, get on your feet and help me start this race. Gentlemen, start! And the field's already rolling off. So Jeff Bright on the front row with Jake Jefferson starting on his left. Guys, in the outside, inside, road courses can be confusing. Luke Sasser, Ryan Butcher, Tony Green, Grayson Ace Vito, Dago Yepes, Nick Kennedy, Eli Bright Denorius. That's your, that's the top ten starters. Here we go, pace cars in. Green flags out. Here we go. We're underway here at the Glen. Side by side into turn one. Heavy breaking into the first corner. Three wide back there. How many are going to wreck? There goes the 20. He goes around. That's going to definitely bring out a caution. Two legendary numbers. Three and 43. Side by side for second place. Tony Green in the number 19 and fourth. Waiting for something to happen here. Well, maybe it's too early, but who knows. Having the three car with the advantage. So many lights flashing yellow at the same time. How many lights are there? Three, four, five, six, seven lights. On oh, that straightaway alone. Here they come into turn seven. They'll take the caution flag. Oh, Jeff Bright, way too hot, into the wall. He might lose the lead here. Coming to the stripe, can the three get him? No, he hangs on. It's okay, it's a road course. Oh, a little contact there with the three. And the 43 as well. Yellow flags out for the first time on the first lap. We'll take a look at the replay. Yeah, two wrecks, but let's take a look at the first one. Alexander Owen, the 20. He gets turned by Al Legacy in the 21. Just turns him around, and everyone checking up. Hillary Sanchez gets collected, gets turned on her own. Marcus Attachi, Jack Legacy, Joe Jefferson, Calvin, Lynn, and whoa, big hit right there on the guardrail. Ryan Allen, Carter Friesen, sporting a new paint scheme. Andrew Johnson, he got turned by the 88. Separate wrecks. Hard impact to got dumped by the 92. Johnson slapped that right on the right side, the 88, all over the place. And I don't think they were done wrecking, no. He's trying to recover, comes across Aaron Carlson. I got hit by Keith Stevens, Metal Lions winner. 88's destroyed, the one car is destroyed. Anyone else destroyed? Well, so far it's only those two, but we're probably going to see several cars behind the wall after this one. Once we get back to the restart. So the caution out on the first lap but again at the Glen. No surprise there. We'll take you back to the restart. Actually there was another wreck. Kevin Ward and Patrick Smith. There are three wide. Three wide. Never gonna work and my god. Both cars took one heavy hit. So that's a... Uh, two wrecks and one yellow. Two cars collected in this one, and oh, the 31 and the 32. They both overdrive it, and they spin out. But that's it. We'll take you back. Lights are out, getting ready for the green. Five cars out of the race, 35 on the still remains. Jeff Bright, Jay Jefferson, Luke Sasser, Tony Green, Wyron Butcher, your top five. So you get set for the restart. Pace cars in. Here we go. Green flags out. Here we go again. Top three off to a good start. Tony Green spun him. Into the first corner, a little bumping. Lots of bumping. Can they make it? 
No, they didn't. One car just crashed. And a yellow flag flies out once again. Might be like this all day, just like Sonoma, except for the first lap. Battle for second place. Who has the advantage? Tony Green edges out, but the three will get it back. Forty-three losing a couple spots. Maybe more than a couple. Here we go again. Coming to the stripe. Don't overdrive it this time. No, oh, he didn't listen. Oh wait, no. Well, he didn't hit the wall at least. A couple of the cars come up and the three have come up right behind him. But comes up short. Damn. I gotta try to stop doing that. Second yellow of the day. We'll take a look at the replay. Had a feeling the 41 was gonna get wrecked. I don't see any contact there. And just hard into the tire barriers for the fifth for the forty one. Carson going for a spin throughout the grass. Then there was a second rap we'll just cut to it. Stuart Grant in the forty two. Looks like he had some issues. He looks like he's coming down pit road. And then on the ninety two caught him in the left side. He locked up the brakes, he gets run by the thirty three. He has something wrong with that 42 car. Not a lot of damage, but he comes to a complete stop. Doesn't get going at all. We'll take you back to the restart. Lights are out, and looks like Manny in the 62 is up in smoke. She'll join the, the, the rest that's already out of the race. So it's, uh, can't be 32 remaining on the racetrack. Getting ready for the green. Hopefully they can keep it clean for at least one lap. Because the stage is almost over. Well, actually, we have to throw out the caution anyways. Because once they take it, I'm going to throw out the yellow. But oh, we're going to wait a while. Maybe I don't have to throw out the yellow myself. Let's see. Here we go. Green flag. Into one. Racing trying to make it three wide. Three wide, can they make it stick? While the car's slipping and sliding all over the place. They all made it this time, but I gotta throw the caution out anyways. It'll be one to go this time, but. Oh, come on. Caution down, caution down, caution down. Keep taking That's off. bullshit. The one time they actually make it through, they don't wreck. Tony Green able to take second place away. So this is your stage. This will be the stage. Here comes Tony Green. Jeff Bright trying to put a block on him. That's going to be a three car battle for the race for the stage win. Green kind of overdrives it. Can he get it back? The three gets back in the second. Here they come. Into seven. Overdrives the corner into the wall. They're going to be three wide at the line, and it's going to be the 37. He'll take the stage win. Oh, that was close. Wow. Green overdrove the corner. If, he's make it, if he made it stick, he might have a slight advantage. But he didn't. So Jeff Bright, your stage winner. Jay Jefferson, second. Tony Green, third. Grayson Aguilo, fourth. Diego Yepes, fifth. Ryan Butcher, sixth. Malik Nevin 7th, Luke Sasser 8th, Dale Young 9th, and Aureus gets the last point, finishing 10th in the stage. And uh, that's actually, actually uh, ah, ah, I, well, I don't even know what I'm trying to do here, again. But let's take a look at the, re, uh, the replay of that uh, stage finish. Pretty exciting. Hopefully that'll be like that in the, when they come to the checkers. So here they come. Actually, let's rewind it just a little bit more. See, Tony Green, he had him. Kind of. He was in second. Oh, the three gave the 37 a little bump. Trying to bump him out of the way. Trying to give him the bumper. And then Green overdrives it. He goes off the course. That gives the three car... This gives him second place back. He falls to third. 
And a 37 just keeps overdriving turn 7. He, this time he just slightly hits the wall. And the 3 car just couldn't get to the inside quick enough. And it was a near 3 wide finish for that stage. Jeff Bright was able to get first by three quarters of a car length. Tony Green trying to go all the way to the right. Trying to make a three wide but couldn't quite do it. Any other close finishes for position? There's Diogo Yepes and Ryan Butcher about half a car length. Luke Sasser and Dylan Young. That was real close. Just beat him by that much. And Oreo's getting a last spot. He beats Eli Bright by three quarters of a car length. So we'll take you back to the uh, restart and look at this. Jeff Bright probably didn't like the bump from the 30 car, so he sent him a little message. That's going to be interesting. We'll take you back. As we get ready for the green, and Tony Green and the 19 has pulled out. He's got an issue with the ninth with that car. That's that must be heartbreak. And a fast race car, He's actually challenging the leaders. He's going to be away with a top five. Well, at least we can do a, go into overtime at the Glen. Let him go, let him go, there you go. Just let him go. Here they come, pace cars in. Green will fall the pace car to pit road. And a race start with five laps to go. Jeff Bright in a 37. Once again, still your race leader. Green flags out. We're back underway. Quality keep it clean this time. Well, they did actually. They just uh, had to go for a stage caution. Chevrolet is 1, 2, 3, and 4 with the 1 Ford. Ryan Butcher in 5th. Alec Nevins is there. The all Chevrolets in the top 5. Here comes the 48. Inside of the 3. Or the right side. And caution is out. And he takes second away. And they'll raise it back once again. Come on. Yeah, we're going to go into overtime. Not yet. There's a slim chance they can make it clean for this last restart, but it's highly unlikely that will happen. Here we go in a 7, once again. No 48 overdrove at that time. He got into the wall. They wrecking? Almost. Caution is out. Oh yeah, they're wrecking. We'll take a look at the replay. Jack Legacy was not going to have it. Carson Bauer is a slow car, and he just dumped him throughout the S's. Hard impact for both drivers, but of course, Carson with the bigger hit. 12 car keeps on going. Then uh, we'll show you the second wreck. So Lyrico coming to the stripe, racing for 6th place. Nevins bounced off the wall. Dylan Young gets in the back of him. Eli Bright nowhere to go. Damn it, it's not a good fucking angle. He had a 13 without anywhere to go. Ends up getting the rear, rear ends, the 11. Spins him around. Horace catches him as well. Anybody else? I don't think so. So the rest was able to avoid it. Alright, we'll take you back to the restart. Actually, Jeff Bright has just gone up in smoke. While leading, he's dominated this race. Oh, that's, that's tough. For the 37. It could have been his... He had a good chance to win, and there's no smoke. The car is completely shut off. He's going to have to coast back to, the, back to pit road if he can get there. If not, he's going to have to get a push. You just hate to see the leader just have a mechanical failure like that and because of that his chances of winning this race are completely over Jack might actually give him a push there he goes 12 is gonna help him up the pit road does not need a truck to help him 12 cars gonna push you never ever seen that in NR oh he did it 
Jack Legacy pushes Jeff Bright back to pit road. Tony Green, he was in third. No. He had to make it on schedule pit stop, but he's still out there on the racetrack. Great move by the 12. Don't need a safety truck to push him. That's a first. Alright, now we'll take you back to the restart. Oh, and the smoke came back. Oh, he got the ref he got it refired. Oh yeah, the AI can do that too. This game's just incredible. Fifteen years old and you just well it's not the first time, but yeah. And he's out for a header. Just like the sixty two. Don't think they share equipment though. But okay, now we'll skip you to the restart. Restart with two laps to go. Grayson Ace Vito in a position to win his third race. Richmond, New Hampshire, and maybe the Glen. Jay Jefferson, 40th in points. He only has seven races, including this one, to get two wins. This is his best shot to get at least one. This car is in. Will we go into overtime or will they keep it clean for these next two laps? Here we go. Green flag. We're back underway. Two laps to go left at the Glen. Into one. Keep it clean, please. Alright, they do. Jefferson trying his best to hang on the second. He almost got turned by the 38. Ryan Butcher, another driver looking for his second win. Diego Yepes in fourth, looking for his first. No mistakes here. Alright, coming to the white flag. White flag is out. Oh, and the 48 and the 3 overdrive it. There goes the 38. Ryan Butcher now takes it. White flag is out. We're not going to go into overtime. Diego Yep is in third. Nevin's fourth. And now Legacy in the 21 is in fifth. But he's okay. He doesn't really need to win, but of course. So I got to go for it. And Jake Jefferson drops to seventh. 75 got second. Can the 38 get it? Or will he make the same mistake? If he makes the same mistake, it's gonna be wild. Battle for third, 21 and 48. It's not over till it's over. Here comes the 75. Into turn six. Diego Yepes is there. If he drives it in there hard, he can probably wreck, maybe wreck him. Here he goes. Oh, he's gonna, he overdrove it, but he keeps it off the wall. Checkered flag is out. Ryan Butcher's second win of the season. He punches his ticket, or not, uh, locks himself in into the playoffs. He overdrove it just a bit, but not too much. If he hit that wall, Diego Yepes would have gotten the win and another second place finish for the 75 car. Grayson Vio just threw away his just threw away his third win out the window. Everyone should have ran their fastest lap right there, because those were the only two laps that were under green. Al Legacy, fourth. Nevins fifth. Luke Sasser sixth. Jay Jefferson seventh. Held on to second for almost the entire race. But he able to salvage out a top 10, but a, probably a disappointing top 10. He knew he had a chance to win. Nick Kennedy 8th, Mew 9th, and Tim Randolph able to get 10th. Only leading two laps, Ryan Butcher. So he is becomes the fourth driver to fully secure a spot in the playoffs. I'm pretty sure mathematically he cannot drop out of points, so. Yeah. So 38, 48, 88, and 21 
Those are the four. But now the two wins. We'll now take a look at the full race results. So Ryan Butcher wins. Diego Yepes second. As I mentioned, another second place finish. Grayson Isvito third. Now Legacy fourth. Neman Sasser. Wait, I already said the top ten. So let's say the top twenty. Gustavo eighth, eleven, Jefferson twelfth, Edison thirteen, Orius fourteen, Mitchell Henderson fifteen, Chris Kyle sixteen, Joshua C seventeenth, Alexander Rowe eighteenth, Mark Sachi nineteenth, and Hillary Sanchez twentieth. Here's the full race results. Thirty cars finished the race and twenty eight finished on the lead lap. We still got one more road course, and that's gonna be in the playoffs. So and now we only have six races left to the playoff starts. So anyone that only has one win and below 16th, they're gonna have to get their second win somehow. Maybe, because well, we'll talk about that uh, later on. But Ryan Butcher, your race winner, will now take you to victory lane.